It's a sight that got all of us to stop and stare. A plane in the middle of the Mississippi. It even prompted first responders to race to rescue boats. But as our Chris Davis shows us, looks can be deceiving. For about 30 terrifying minutes, Charlie, come here, Charlie. all eyes were on the mighty Mississippi. There a whole bunch of water splashing around it like mist. Police stood on the shore. We're putting the plane in the Mississippi there at the foot of San Miguel. Responders rushed to rescue boats. Yeah, I just don't see any airplane. Fire trucks parked on spans overhead. Looking for my phone to call 911, trying to figure something out. What could I do to help? It even caused Dennis Cadimo to nearly pull over on the side of the road. So I told the wife, I think that's a plane in the river. Doesn't look good. Yes, for nearly 30 paralyzing minutes, we thought we had our own miracle on the Hudson. Instead, it was the mishap on the Mississippi. It's an amphibious aircraft, and that's why we were running our demonstration flights and, and landing in the river. Rick Reef owns this Icon A5. Folded up, it could almost fit in a parking space. He had one of his demo pilots take it for a test drive for a prospective buyer. He didn't find out till much later that the plane's aero acrobatics had launched the Armada. We're excited to get the exposure, quite frankly. However, we didn't want to scare anyone. Rick emphasizes his pilot followed all the right protocols, including getting permission from air traffic control. We followed all the right procedures, had the clearance from the tower, and, and we're just trying to have fun. Dennis says he's relieved to hear everything was fine. Yes, I was able to breathe. I was like, OK, calm down. <laughs> but says nothing about what he saw on the Mississippi seemed normal. That's nothing you don't see every day. Now, just to give you a little perspective, the plane was found about here in the riverbed, and that's the arch. Now, there are some flight restrictions as to where you can and can't fly around the arch. Rick says they didn't even get close to the park, so they didn't run to any problems when it comes to that. He does think he needs to have a conversation with local law enforcement about how these type of landings work. That way, things like this never happen again. So, Chris, do we have a lot of these planes in St. Louis? Could we maybe be all seeing more of these? Well, and Rick is actually a brand new regional salesman for the company based here in St. Louis. They made their debut at the boat show just last week. And so he says they're going to be a lot more of these, hopefully, at least for his standpoint, flying around here. And we may see more landings like this here on the Mississippi. It is an unbelievably tiny plane. Chris, thanks for filling us in.